Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. We're just starting week 10, and look at these birds right here. They have grown so much in 10 weeks. It's really amazing what breeding can do. They're all very healthy. They've been out foraging in this rainy October weather, but it's just perfect for them to get all kinds of different things. And there's two reasons why I let my birds go this long, because many people tell you to process in week 7 or 8, typically around week 8. And I like letting mine go longer for these two reasons. Number one, we really like chicken around here and I've got two growing kids and I'm just a big boy at heart and it takes a lot of food to feed a young family that's got a lot of growing kids. They just eat so much and they're not even teenagers yet and so that's one of the reasons. But two, the reason number two is the fact that they're really not growing as much at this point. That's why many people don't let them go this far is because for what you're putting into the birds, you're not really getting weight. But that's kind of, I think, a shallow way to look at things. It's kind of like looking at a, a nice big tomato plant. You know, it's eight foot tall leaves, but there's hardly any tomatoes. You know, tomatoes is what we're going for. With the chickens, we're not just going for a big tall bird with meat. I, me, I'm, I'm more focused on mineral content and that's one of the trade-offs when you get a fast-growing bird is you don't get quite as much mineral content. The broth isn't as rich because those birds are spending all that energy growing at a rapid rate. And that's what kids do. I mean, they, they eat and they eat and they eat and it's just all going to growing. But when you get older like we do, the only growing we do is horizontally. And, you know, but if you're healthy, you should be socking away vitamins and minerals in your bones and in other places as well and so I really feel like letting them go longer I know that I'm getting a much richer broth more mineral content into the thigh meat and leg meat especially which is my favorite part of the chicken and it's just uh, it's also again it's just giving them more time more time to forage getting all these trace minerals there's just dozens of things out here and just in our grass, um, and I say grass loosely, I and mean, it's mostly weeds, and that's great for chickens. And there's all kinds of bugs and different things. But look at these birds, and look at some of the diversity. We have this one that has a bunch of black spots. That one, I have raised thousands. I don't know how many thousands, but so many thousands of these type of chickens. I have never seen one have that much collar in its feathering, which I find really interesting. Now, it looks to be one of the biggest roosters we have. Obviously, it's not an issue. Um, but there's multiple crosses that go into making these birds. At this stage, you can really see the difference in size between the males, the cockerels, and the um, the, the little hens or the uh, pullets. You know, they're, they're so much bigger at this point, and a lot of that goes into areas that are not necessarily meat. Again, that's why most people don't run the chickens this long, but these birds are fantastic looking, extremely healthy, and we're going to be processing soon. When we do the processing video, we're going to be showing you how much food we put into these birds, some costs, and also showing you how we process. So if you're not into seeing a chicken processing video, you might want to watch out for that. But I think we're really going to get around 100 to 110 pounds of chicken off of these birds. Really excited. Just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on. They're eating a full trough of feed every day right now and they're going through a five gallon bucket of water even in these cooler temperatures. It's, it's just a lot of mass, a lot of food, and we're having to move them at least every other day because even though there's just 22 birds, they're putting down a phenomenal amount of manure. Check out what's in the pen. This is two days. Look at all that manure right there in just two days at this stage. It's amazing. And if you get a lot of rain, this isn't a big deal. It, it, it dilutes it down. The grass can recover. But if you're in an area that's really dry and doesn't get a whole lot of rain, but if you have access to a sprinkler, you might want to sprinkle that um, down a little bit just to dilute that into the soil because it, it can be really rough on things regrowing if it's not diluted down with a little bit of rain. Anyways, thanks for watching our videos. More chicken stuff to come. We'll see you in the next one.